Welcome to our lecture online. Exponential functions are great for calculating the worth or the value of an investment when you know the rate of the investment, the amount of compounding is done on the investment, and for how long the investment is invested for. So let's say we have $800 invested at 5% compounded monthly for six and a half years. What will, be the, what will the investment be worth in six and a half years? So the equation we're going to use is similar to the one we used before, except the rate here is now divided by m, and we have an m in the exponent along with the, the exponent along with the variable t. Remember, a is a function of t, and we can already write it like that as well. We can say that a is a function of the time, how long we have it invested for. But notice that m is what we call the number of conversions per year, the number of times that the interest is compounded, added to the investment, so that you keep earning interest on interest. Well, in this case, since it's done monthly, there's 12 months in a year, that means in this case, m is going to equal 12. So let's go ahead and do that. The amount, when t is equal to 6.5 years, is equal to the principal that we invest which is $800 to start with, times 1 plus the rate. Now the rate is 0 0.05, so we have 5% converted into a decimal divided by the number of conversions per year, which is 12, because we're compounded, where are we here? Compounded monthly, and there's 12 months in a year. So we then raise up the exponent m times t, which is 12, times 6.5. What does that equal? We have the amount when t is equal to 6.5, that's equal to $800, times 1 plus that. So for that we're going to need a calculator. So we get 0 0.05 divided by 12, okay, so that gives us 1.0041. Six, six, and so forth forever to the 12 times that that would be 72 that would be to the 78 power all right so now we uh, take that amount so we go plus one we raise it to the 78 power equals ah there we go so this is equal to eight hundred dollars multiplied times 1.3831 percent or three one like that Okay, notice, essentially, we've increased the value by about 38%. So now when we multiply the times 800, we now have $1,106.48. Because typically, whoop, that should be an 8, 48 cents, because typically they round it off to the nearest penny. So you can see that that's a great a great um, equation. We simply put in the rate divided by the number of conversions times the time in years. Also we raise the exponent we multiply times m the number of conversions and you get the exact amount you end up with if the amount was compounded every month and that is how it's done.